today we're going to be talking a little bit about Temple Grandin. She's the one who revolutionized the way that we work our cattle. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. Hi, I'm Maddie. Hey, I'm Colton. I'm Kylie. And I'm Michelle. Today, we're going to be talking about Temple Grandin. She's the one that revolutionized all cattle work. She was born August 29th, 1947 in Boston, Massachusetts. She had a little bit of trouble going through her early school years. She was a little bit different than the other kids. Some of the other kids would tease her and she knew that she was a little bit different too. So the other kids could do things that she couldn't, but she could do things that the other kids couldn't. She was eventually diagnosed with autism. So, even though she had a different way of thinking, it turned out to be great for her. It turned out to be like a superpower for her. Later on in life, she was able to actually relate to the cows, and she created these shoots and squeeze systems to help the cows stay more calm and more relaxed while people like us were working with them. So the reason Temple Grandin was so great with cows was because she spent time with her aunt and her uncle on their farm out in Arizona. And when Temple Grandin was younger, she would actually lay out in the middle of the grass with the cows and she was really interested in the way that they thought and what they were feeling and how they reacted to each other and to people. And what really made her special was that she learned to communicate with the cattle and she learned how to make them feel safe and comfortable. So what's also really interesting is that she was born with some disabilities, but she was actually able to use the cows to help herself feel better. And other people who have the same autism diagnosis of her by developing treatments and things that they can do, exercises and activities that they could do to make themselves feel more safe and secure as well. So usually cows spend their time out in the field with their friends, but occasionally when they are sick or they need their vitamins or their vaccines, we bring them in and take them through the chute so that we can work with them and provide them with what they need. So we run them through the chute and that leads up to the squeeze, which is where we can hold the cows and it's like a big cow hug and it keeps them very secure and that's where we can have a, this space to work with them, especially because they are so big. And then right after the squeeze, they go right back out in the field with their friends. So the reason we use what we call the shoots, so those are long, more narrow alleyways to walk the cows up and down. We use those because it'll help to separate the cows out so that you can work with a specific cow individually. If you brought them into a really large alleyway and had so many cows wide, it would be impossible to tell which cow you had treated or given vitamins to and which ones you hadn't. So we needed to make a more narrow chute so that the cows were walking in the single file lines. When Temple Grandin would stay with her aunt and uncle in Arizona, she watched them work with the cattle and she saw how comforted the cows were in the squeeze. And so sometimes when she was having a bad day, she would actually sit in the squeeze herself and she realized how comfortable it was for her as well. So she actually built her own little squeeze that she would take with her to help her stay calm and comforted. So we're gonna move this panel, which is in our rounded tub. So the rounded um, corner, makes the cows want to actually move into our chute system that we'll show you that's in the barn. But this um, rounded corner, you can tell that Shields here is very relaxed and happy. And so we'll just use the panel to encourage her to go down the longer alleyway. Cows do not like sharp corners, like 90 degree angles. They like rounded corners or rounded edges. So it makes them feel much more comfortable. So now we'll go ahead and enter that long alleyway. Flap or doorway right there that'll keep her from backing out. So there are a couple of things that we want. 
wanted to point out about the alleyway, and that is that it's nice and narrow, so only one cow fits in at a time, so that you can just work on or treat the one cow that you're working on. Um, we went ahead and put a piece of, well, it's called a paddle across there to stop her. So as long as the cow has a, an empty row in front of it, it's gonna walk down, but the minute you place something in front of its eyes, it's gonna stop. So um, to help the cow stay more focused, we have these panels down here that keep them from looking out and seeing people's feet and people walking up and down the uh, chute system. And um, we have, once we move the paddle that's in front of her, then she'll just keep on walking. So ideally for the cattle chute, the, uh, these, little, these panels right here should be about eye level so they can't see through. So there should be a, a metal or a tin um, sheet all up in here by, uh, to get to their eye level so they can't see outside because they can get scared if we're walking along or, um, the, the fence line or if we're up there working with the chute, they can get scared because they can see us. So that's why you want the panels that come all the way up to their eye level. So cows are sensory based thinkers, which means they think in pictures, sounds, and smells. And what's really cool is that's also how Temple Grandin thought. And so that's something that helped her be able to communicate with the cattle and to be able to think what they were thinking. And so she would actually walk herself through the chutes and she would say, okay, you know, oh, that thing over there could be scary to the cows. And so she was able to go through and actually pick out those things that might be scary to the cows and then figure out how they, she can make it less stressed. So we wanted to show you what a kind of a nervous cow looks like. Their head is going to be up. Their ears are going to be really alert and forward. And Temple realized that cows that are nervous and scared won't walk forward. So we have kind of decorated our chute with some scary objects. The, sweater up here and Kylie's going to be standing right next to the chute looking at the cow. Things like this are going to make it really scary for a cow to come and walk up the alleyway. So I'm going to use my little flag and I'm going to try to get her to walk past them, but I don't think she's going to want to. Come on, Shields. Will you walk past? She says, no way, Jose. So now we're gonna move everybody out of the way and we'll see if we can get her to walk forward. All right, so now we have our little alleyway cleared out. So I think she's gonna move forward a lot more easily and we're gonna push her now. This is the alleyway and it's gonna go into our squeeze. So we can show you what a squeeze is. When you're standing in front of a cow, in front of their shoulder area, the cow doesn't wanna move past you. So what Temple Grandin discovered is that when you walk gently past the cow and you get behind their shoulder and then you put something that encourages them to go forward the cow will then move forward so she's gonna think it's not scary anymore and she'll see the minute we open that door she says oh my god I just walk right on through So you, you can squeeze it enough to just 
you know, hug them so they can feel supported, but not too much so they feel, um, so they feel um, really, really compacted and it starts to hurt. Um, but you also don't want to be too loose that they can still move around and slip and fall. Um, so this is really important. And right here, this is for the head gate. Uh, so if I push it this way, it'll open it up. Uh, forwards, and then this way, open it up backwards so I can catch the next cow. This one is an automatic catch, so that means when they push on it, it catches them automatically. So you don't have to be here trying to time them once they get their head in. Uh, so that's what's really nice about this. Okay, so you can open up these here, open it up, and then give them a shot. And then you can close it back up. So my heifer shield is about 1,200 pounds, and without this whole chute system and the squeeze, you wouldn't be able to do anything with her. Uh, you'll be chasing her around, trying to give her a shot, she'll run around, and you won't ever be able to get anything done. So this is really, really nice for cattle ranchers, um, just to be able to, to, to uh, bring through hundreds of cattle every day, being able to work with them and then sending them off and um, having the whole non-stress method too and um, just has it go faster and faster and faster um so that's that's really great for these cattle ranchers to be able to do this fast and uh low stress for the cattle one of the reasons why the low stress cattle system that we have is so great is because when cattle get super stressed out, they stop eating and drinking, they can get sick and they lose a lot of weight. And nobody likes to be super stressed out. And so we like to treat our animals like they were ourselves and how we would like to be treated. So we like to do our best to keep them as comfortable as we can. So one thing Temple Grandin would probably change about this shoot here is once the cows are in the drum, they should, uh, they should single file line into the shoot outside of the barn. If you try to get them single file as they're going into the barn, it can be very scary for the cows. And so if you get them single line in a single file line first, going one at a time, it's a lot easier to get them into the barn after they're going one by one. The barn can be very scary because it's a lot darker than it is outside. So walking into a really dark space can be pretty scary for the cows because they don't know where they're going. One of our ranching friends has their shoots all out in the open, including the squeeze, and that's fine too. Then you don't have to get them into a barn to a scarier place where it's darker. are feeling as relaxed as we are right now. No cows were stressed during the making of this video. We hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little bit about cows and Temple Grandin. We take low stress cattle management very seriously. Thanks for watching. We'll see, we'll see you! See ya.